guys, MDK Shady here, and I'm back with another video. This time, we're gonna be having a rant on the new Beyblade vs. Chozetsu. So, let's start with the base. Vault has a new Valkyrie called Vinning Valkyrie 12 Volcanic. There's a new character named Aiga who has Z Achilles 11 Extend. And then finally, we have a new character whose name might be Fubuki who has. Emperor Fornius Zero Yard. Now let's get on to the story element. Now, as you can see, Aiga is in the center and Vault is in the top corner. This could mean that Aiga is a new main character and it's gonna replace Vault. So if we look at Vault, Vault is now older, and that's evident because if you look right under Vault's face, we can see an older version of Tokonatsu. And if you look right beside Aiga's face, we can see Louis Shirasagi. Louis doesn't really look that much older. Yeah, Louis doesn't look that much older, and he's wearing a weird white coat that's really big. Right below Louis, we see Rontaro Kiyama with a lot of hair. Besides Fubuki, I see a character who has a mask on who kind of looks like Sisko, but it's probably not Sisko. Right above Aiga, we see a character who looked like a Halt Aota. And if you don't know who Halt Oda is, well, I don't blame you. He was just a side character in Season 1. There's also a handful of characters whose names we don't know. Like, for example, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Here is a Koro Koro poster that shows Zed Achilles, Emperor Fornius, and, God and Vinning Valkyrie. So, a lot of people have been complaining about Aiga being the main character and Vault not being the main character. Now, I see why because most people don't like it when they transition into a new main character. But I'm actually fine with this, because right now, Vault is a world-class Beyblader. What more can they do to him? Like, they just introduced a random new tournament? I don't really think that's gonna make much sense. So they decided to start fresh with a new main character and make him go pr to the, uh, pretty much the same journey as Vault did. Sure, it might pretty much be the same show over and over again, but this shows a lot of promise, especially for uh, a new generation of Beybladers, even though they're in the same Beyblade Burst uh, show. And uh, I'm wondering if they're gonna continue uh, this, like how they did, how uh, in Japan there's a show called Battle Spirits that has still been going on. I wonder if it's gonna be like that, where they always get new main characters, but uh, the show is all the same. I kind of wish it's kind of like that, because I actually really like the Beyblade Burst system, and I don't really want to see that go away. So really, I'm all in for the new change that we're gonna get with the new main character, and I hope that Beyblade Burst lasts longer than pretty much any other Beyblade series. Cause if they're gonna introduce a new main character, well we better get some more character development from them. And yeah, that's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time.